I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. My bro, bro. Yeah, y'all I mean, I call them all my bro. She like, look, honeymoon, like, uh-uh, you too nice. Fuck that. I am. It's not about being nice. I just don't give a damn. You can't move me. If I see something, I'm going to share it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to do what I want to do. You want me not to talk about your shit and not call you out. That's why y'all not going to win. You can't play mind manipulation with me. I know reverse mind control. You don't want me looking. I'll be looking again. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> to try to lay them off um i also told them that they will be sued for doing so Shut um, up. But yet they still choosing to pick these people which they said keith freeman gave them so make sure y'all had him y'all also um to target just these individuals um normally when you do layoffs or consider layoffs you normally go you meet with uh, management staff and very, you go stop pause this is very important to me because i'm just going to be honest i'm going to start to get this wrapped up i, I want to know why the trustees behave like this don't mind, love me. I love you 100. Judge Petty C, I didn't want you in nothing, girl. I'm a good friend. I don't like drama. You ain't about to be in that, girl. But I could tell you now. Fuck it. I'll tell you later on when I call you. Um, anyway, yeah, this is very important right here. We're about to get to the end because my main question is what if you're scared, get a dog. And what the hell happened with these trustees? Because she started literally ragging them. I'm going to be honest. Let's listen. She started ragging them. Line by line, are you all with things or what people can make cuts at and do things to make it make sense? Right now, people are uh, voting with their emotions. Sure. Out, whatever it is. Again, the mayor had no say so in this. They just did what they wanted to do. And so sit here and talk about things. And we get nothing. So when these things come, because that's your right hand. Hold on. Financials. Um, once everything come up, I did tell everybody that we was going to do a town hall meeting. It relates to the financials because everyone's waiting on financials. We all are. Mm -hmm. So I just want to clear that up as well because people like to just say stuff, but they don't educate the public on how and the why. So like, I'll give you another example. Do you know that we have uh, union contracts, different things that go towards a budget, but no one's telling you that. So once it goes to the budget, where's the extra revenue that you brought in to cover the budget amount? You just give somebody a raise, but yet you got to figure out how to pay that out. Yeah. And then when they try to cut things like, like I said earlier, before when I say this, code enforcement, why would you cut the only thing That's where people right. are producing revenue? They go on they buy tickets for people yeah. that ain't cut their grass. Why would you, why would you lower the fines of $500 to people who don't even make a lot of money? Who before I came in was making $30,000 till I decided to pay my friends $75,000, $120,000. You know, why the fuck would you try to lower that? You know these motherfuckers broke, and I'm trying to break them. That's what she has said. Whether it's the bank or whoever, and other issues in our community. So what I'm saying to you is, you rather lay people off, like I said, peanuts, mm. peanuts, compared to the. And then she said, she said, this is the very good part. Then she said, y'all not hitting the motherfucking lick with the things y'all trying to fix anyway, because I didn't spend billions of dollars. They hitting the lick. This, this what she said. That's what she said allegedly things that you claim is needed so again that's my statement for the record i'm still what i did highlight about keith price that you guys need to remember there is six million dollars he is getting more or spending more or is attached to more money coming out than any individual that i highlighted right here six million dollars okay i'm moving fast through this because i got to get to the top because this is where all of the bank statements is at Okay, so now we're going to start breaking down the bank statements. 
All right, hit the like button, y'all, because this was a lot of work. I do apologize, though. I thought I had Keith Price credit card stuff up there, but don't worry. My next live, I will. All right. So what I want to highlight here is that before what we talked about was the different funds that they had. And they have general assistant funds. They have a general funds. They have a they have a flex account. They have different. They also, you know what? Roads and bridges. I'm just going to tell y'all this. Roads and bridges in, in, in Thornton County, they're doing great. They don't even touch the money. The money is just going in. They just do their thing. I only saw like 75000 come out from what I looked at. I just stopped really. I was looking at them. Every time their account was just getting up and up and up. The roads and bridges. So whoever over the road and bridges have not been doing anything bad. Um, and the general funds, the old uh, they have a old so both of these old national bank accounts, because you're gonna see them. Um, one is the old national bank account connected to Thornton's roads and bridges, and they do pretty good. They have a positive balance, their balance stay positive and money stay going in. As of 2023, this is all 2023. Shout out to Ty. As you can see, that's his contact information. Don't be afraid to email him. I know I don't put his business out there, but you know, he do his thing. So um, the other old national bank account is connected to the general funds. That account doesn't have a lot of money. It has about $2,600. Um, not much go into that general funds in the old national bank account. But I noticed that nobody bothered that and it only has like $3,000 in it. Okay. Now. The other account that we're going to show you is BMO. BMO is the flex spending account. And this is an account that I could not get information on based on these papers. I want y'all to go and look. I'm going to show y'all that one Pacific. And what that highlights is like, okay, this is the main operation account. This was so blacked out that it was hard for me to make sense of all of these things. I was trying, you'll see deposit withdrawals. You know, I was looking like, okay, they taken in, taken out. But then when you go through all of them for um, BMO, for this actual account, main operation account, it's like this for most of it. So I want to give you a heads up. It was hard for me to even look at that. Now, I'm trying to get this stuff out the way so I can move on because I'm going to do section by section. The most spend, well, mo there was an account, the um, 53rd bank account. Let's bring that up. Which one was it? Is it this? Because they had two 53rd bank accounts. Now, I don't know what this bank account is attached to because it does not have a description. But the 53rd bank account has the most money in in the most money out, okay? I'm giving you a heads up. So I'm gonna put a few PowerPoints up there so you guys can see this, okay? I, 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 I had a few that I highlighted and I just want to bring it up because they were spending and replenishing. So it was replenish, spend, replenish, spend. Hold up. Replenish spin. And I don't know what is your actual rules and regulation, but y'all got to get a cap on these credit cards in the description. The descriptions is bogus. <laughs> bogus. I couldn't even like, I'm like, y'all over here playing with me. There's no description here. All right. Five, two, spending. All right. Let's get to this one first. Now I took it. I'm gonna put that back up there for you guys, but that is the actual document. So as me just scroll, 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 and drive myself crazy, I'm going to put it up there for you. Now this is what I was showing you, and this is showing you the the 53rd bank, and this is February 2023. This is the beginning balance. This is six million guys. Okay, six million four hundred and ten thousand dollars. Uh. Okay, and this is the checks when withdrawal. Okay, so checks is what was spent, withdrawals, what was out, deposit, what was in. Three million dollars came out of this account and spend it. Okay, which brought the, the balance down to three million dollars. Now we're going to go into um, 
a little bit of the description of these things that's being spent on that. We, we start with this bank account. Bear with me, guys. Now, this is the same bank account and it's the same month. Looking at the description, I was trying to figure it out a little bit. And it's a lot of in and out, a lot of in and out. So I'm trying to figure out what is it connected to, but it looks like it pays bills, except for this express. This is an express bill pay. I was looking through this. I didn't see anything too wild. But as time went on, all you see is money in, money out. And I couldn't really connect it to what account. But I mean, what um what funds it is. But you see ADP, ADP, United Health. Um, these type of things uh, are warranted for a business. So with that account, there was a lot of spending and a, not a lot going in. Okay. Now, let me see what else I have to show you with this bank account. We got a little bit more on for what happened. Okay. So then you go into April again, you're going to see the tremendous amount of spending versus what comes out. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And what is this account for? Again, this is February. The withdrawals here is $2 million, just as amount, the same amount as the beginning account. This is when I got a little, my eyes open because I was like, all right, they wiped the original amount out and now they just keep replenishing. They keep replenishing. Is anybody asking, you know, why is it like this? What is all of this spending going to? Like this right here, IMRF cash. I don't know what this is, but these are some of the things y'all want to ask, okay? If it's not consistent, what I'm saying, and it wasn't approved by the board as a new entity or a new project, you have to be weary. So what I'm highlighting with this bank account, happened in 2023, this is fifth and third bank account. It had more spending than deposits. They literally just kept replenishing, replenishing, replenishing. And that's how you can see why Thornton may be in a little um, boo-boo. Now, this is one thing I wanted to ask. Trans America contribution. Look at that. Hold on, y'all. I want y'all to ask these questions because I was like, what the hell is this? I mean, some of these descriptions are very hard to see, understand, but it is like some of the numbers is just ridiculous. So this is in the same bank account in May. This is the 53rd bank account. And I told you, I don't know what it's connected to, but there's a lot of transactions coming in now. Trans America contributes. It was three on the same day of $2,000, $2,000. It was close to the same amount. So I'm like, what is that? In that IMRF cash again, what is that? And this is $42,000. So whatever this is, Thornton Township, y'all paying for this monthly out of here. And they get a pretty big amount of money. Now, again, this is IMRF, Mick. It's like some money came back from this place and then... It went back out. And that's what I'm noticing with Thornton Township. They're just taking money in and out, the general assistance funds and putting it in and out, in and out. And we're going we're gonna to go over that. That's what made people confused. Okay. So is a $50,000 Thornton Township TT. I don't know what this is. Offset transactions. So this must be a deposit of $50,000 from Thornton Township to offset these transactions. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. Now, so you guys need to really get an idea of what these transactions is, especially the big numbers, and if they're not consistent. All right. Now, this is just highlighting this particular credit card. Who is this? Okay. That's your general funds. Okay. So that was fifth and third. I wanted to highlight that to you guys. I need to find out what that's connected to. Why is that count? Why wasn't it take? Why wasn't it take, taken down from like six? $6 million or what is $6,000 or whatever it was. And then it literally just get replenished every, every month. They literally just spend everything and then Thornton Township just deposit. I, I just can't make sense of that. I, it just does not make sense to me. I don't know why is it so much coming out now? Let's get into the flex spending account. The flex spending account is in the BMO as well. Now, let me see. 
focus spending focus spending hold on oh and that's what i was telling you guys um this old national account the general funds let me just show y'all they did good I, this is how much they have in there though they stay consistent they don't bother it but i told you I, i'm not lying this was what it was i was like okay why did i put that up there is this it see that y'all can see it and ooh, okay twenty six hundred dollars i told y'all and it's like this for every month and this was up to this was the i took the lat the late most latest one close to the end of the year of last year so they don't they don't touch the general funds money in this account or did this or or the general funds is the 53rd bank account that we're looking at and it's not called that something ain't right that's all i'm saying so this one is the one that's not moving and that's what i'm thinking is the 53rd bank account that's that's what i wanted to show y'all hold on did i show you hold on. did i pull it up there yeah so that's what i wanted to show y'all that those two accounts may be the, for the same thing because this one is not moving and it says general funds but the other one that don't have a description that mug is moving okay so let me highlight that and move on we have another one we're going to get into now which is okay this is the big doozy y'all want to do the money market account let's get into this sheet because i don't want to bore y'all because we have like an hour and a half into this and it's very important for y'all to know this before i get into the case there has been some um switching of the money market account now you know where typically here you're like i'll be in back then I'll be making money. I'll be making money for y'all. We doing good. We make what she said she broke three million dollars in, I think, or something like that. I found it. Bitch brought it in and she took it out. Bitch brought it in and she took it out. I'll probably tell you she brought it in and she took it out. I said, what the is going on around here? My OCB self finding stuff like baby. Okay, this is the new one. Let me just try to find the old one real quick. I got the new money because it's a, a new money market account. Okay. And they're like new. Yeah. They had they had one. And they had took seven million dollars out of it and transferred it out. Hold on, boys. Okay. BMO money market. Okay, yes. So it was in a BMO money market account first. And it was $11 million in there. Okay. We're going to pull that one up first. Some of these things be so blacked out. But I, you, can't, you can't hide it from Grace Levi. I ain't got this big forehead for nothing. I'll be thinking. I'll be thinking. Y'all want me to get to the comments before I show y'all the money, the mutual funds money that she's stealing? I can show y'all. Hold on. Um, it's on Dalton Politics website. What is it? What y'all talking about? I'm jumping in y'all comments, Lisa Lee. I wonder if they ever found them. What y'all talking about? Let me let me get. I'm gonna stay focused and come back to y'all. I'm all nosy. Let me check talking about. I'll be in the comments too. Y'all know I'll be helping people comments. Like, what the hell? Hey Jabbar, welcome. What's up, boo? Now let's get to the mutual um, money mutual account. This is where she was making some. This is where she thought she was the shit. She's the motherfucking shit. Five. Okay. Okay. This is when it had eleven million dollars in it. I want y'all to look at that. Put it on a glass. Y'all see that shit? Let me get myself in the corner. I'm going to zoom in. That's it. Okay. Did y'all see it? I just want to make sure because um. Okay, cool. Right here, this is the account, which is Thornton Township General Funds Money Market Funds. Money market is like an investment account, if you don't know. This investment account had a balance of $11 million, $11.5 million on 5-2023. There was a deposit of $9 million that went in at that time. Um, interest was paid was $37,000, which left the indent balance at $11,554,000. So that was great. Now, this was on, on 5-2023. We're going to go on to... Six. 
7, 2023. This paper was redacted, but I still could see. How the fuck about that? Don't be trying to redact it off my ass. Hold on, y'all. Now, about two months, three months later, two months because I said that was in May. This is July 2023. I'm going to zoom in. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hold on, let me try that. Damn it. There's so much stuff up there. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So zooming in, you're going to see that your previous balance is blacked out here. It's black, but it's 11. So this is looking familiar like the 11 million. Four withdrawals came out that ended with a seven. That started with a seven, I'm sorry. That's on the same line as this. So I'm like, is that $7 million that came out this motherfucker? Yeah, because when you look at the picture right here, it says it. Transfer was $7 million. This was withdrawals and other debits. You see what I'm trying? You see what I'm trying? The interest was $300,000 in this mutual fund account. So I was like, who took $7 million out of this shit? Oh, I got like, whoa. I'm like, okay, somebody about to launder some damn money. So that was on 7. That was uh, July. Now, um, I look about September. No, after probably like July, August or so, I found the Illinois funding. This was another money market account. And it shut me up. I was like, okay, all right. This just brought, don't, um, she opened a new account. Thornton Township opened a new account. This one may have better interest, a better portfolio connected to it. Okay. So you see the 7 million right here. It went into another account, which was like a money marketing account, which is an e, uh, even swap over. Nothing illegal to see here. Now, this is on September. So I'm like, okay, cool. So the Tiffany talking about making money? Oh, yeah, we lost this, bro. So then I look, and what is this? October, the next month in the new account, the new account. Hmm, I said, and this says a lot to me. The 500000 came out. And I said, ho. Oh, Bamlin, oh black Betty, Bamlin, everything go right. I got soup like where the f don't you catch me slipping, baby? Why did you take five hundred thousand out? Do you see this, guys? Can I zoom it in for you? This is the new account that they started, and this was October a month later. You see the balance. So it was five hundred thousand was withdrawn, but I didn't see where that five hundred thousand went. So I kept my eyes on it, like okay. Somebody took it from the regular, the uh, original money mutual account, put it in another money mutual account, and now, hmm, 500000 is out. Let's move forward. Y'all know I'll be, I'll be creeping. I'll be too fucking nosy. No, it's just that I pay attention to my bills. I'm not nosy. I pay attention to everything. I'll be Jay Catcher Ho. Catcher, Catcher Nigga Sinning. I'm Jay Catcher Nigga Sinning. So I said, okay, that what, what month is this? Let's go into October, November. So November, I look into the mutual, new mutual fund account, and somebody, anybody, went back in there and took one million out. Now, it was okay before because it posted. If y'all know what a mutual fund account is, it's supposed to sit there and make some damn interest. So that's why she was like, yeah, I know how to. I'm like, okay, girl. Who the fuck took this one million dollars out? You'll see the transaction is right at the bottom. It was two five hundred thousand dollar shares taken out. One was on eleven oh one, and one is on eleven seventeen. So where did that go? And then you had got an interest of twenty six thousand. So this mutual fund was doing good actually, if you just let the fucking money sit in there. But somebody probably needed a way to get some money out, big money out, not just credit card, not just. Go buy this, go buy this. I'm just, this is all allegedly, this is all my theory. I'm just looking and like, okay, 
how does this make sense? And my mother's an accountant. So I always sit under her ass and I know what she does. I'm just nosy. I just love to learn. And she was one of the administrators that I was under when I was learning some of these skills. Okay. So you see that? The Illinois funding, that's a new mutual fund account and 1 million came out. So now you see it went down. So this was the original 7 million that went into this a couple of months ago. We're going to go back and look at that other account too, to see how, because it should be about two or $3 million left in that other account. Here we go. Somebody start taking money out this account. What the fuck are they doing? That's what I got to ask. What are you doing? So before December, let's get into October. Let's go back into October into the um, general funds money market account because they took this out in July. And now you're going to start to see withdrawals in October coming out of the old mutual fund account too. Baby, I love being y'all resident. Share, share, hit the damn like, baby. Don't let me, they. That's why they try to block me, y'all. Cause this, this, this is the shit I look at. I was like, wait, wait a minute. I don't like this. I don't like this shit one bit. I don't care who did it. My Haitian come. Who did that? I'm telling. I'm telling on you. Look at this. All right, check this out. So we go back to the old mutual fund account, which should. Mm, I missed out two months. It was supposed to be three. It's showing three months from seven to 10. So it's three months missing that I skipped over. It's like 1 million and change left in this account. It shouldn't be. But you can see three withdrawals of $1 million came out. Got them right here. October 2023. The last, the mutual, the old mutual fund, the BMO, Money market account that they took that seven million dollars over to make some money. This is the old one. Somebody took a million dollars out three times. Three times. Okay. Three times. Three times. I think it's three times. It says the date of because you, you know some things really messed up, but it says it says three withdrawal, but I can't see all of this. So I do see a transfer debit on the second of 500,000, a transfer debit on the 11th. And then it has to be more because this is three withdrawals, three withdrawals. And these two don't add. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the um, one million. This is the one million here. But the, it, this is what it is. The ending balance. I want you to look at the ending balance. And that's when I knew that more money was coming out of it than it's supposed to. Hold on one second. I may have to go to the actual page because the ending balance, I didn't take a picture of this. Just know that the ending balance each month after this or starting here, it was $1 million taken out until the account got to nothing. The BMO. And I don't see where it went back into. As I showed y'all, I had saw where it went into that $7 million. I was like, oh, yeah, you got it. Okay. Now, then somebody must be spending like motherfucking water. Because you go to the new account. This is a mutual fund. This is a savings account, y'all. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. Look at this shit. Somebody, anybody tell me what the fuck this is. December 1st, 2023. $4 million in purchases. It went in. Look. But look, the portfolio went down. I got to get back to this. Let me get back to this. I'm going to pull up the thing because I took a few pictures. And it, it's kind of like not telling the full story. I told you that this one right here, the Illinois funding that I just told you started with $7 million. There were money that came out the month before this. It was like $1, one million and some change came out and it got the balance to this. When she was talking shit, I think this is where the four million dollars where she was like i'm making money for y'all i'm making money for y'all it went up to nine right here so she started at seven and it went up to nine million right there but i'm about to look because i think this is what i had discovered there started to be money coming out of that account too and that's where i'm gonna stop at i'm gonna get back to this we're gonna put the old thing up there i just want to verify yeah i gotta look at the mutual funds account I ain't going, I'm not going to overdo y'all. Y'all look at the mutual funds from the BMO um, mutual fund versus the mutual funds that we just had up there. 
and, and I want y'all to see and ask them what happened. Y'all also going to ask about the flex spending card. The flex spending was um, something that was literally money coming in and out, in and out, in and out. And that's what we had showed you. Couldn't understand what it was. So let me get back to this document so I could just, so we could just verify real quick. Is it more money coming out this mutual fund? This new one. Ooh, my hand's itching. All right, let's get down. Let's get down. Oh, shit, it's moving too fast. Is this the credit card? Okay, hold on, boys. Okay. Let me get to the mutual thing, mutual funds. Just because I swore I saw money starting to come out of there. Did it, did it increase? I hope it did. Yes, I told y'all so money start coming out that motherfucker. Then I tell you. Then I fucking tell you. Look at that. Y'all see this shit? I know I ain't crazy. Oh, I just didn't take all the pictures. I'm crazy. I was like, wait, wait, wait. I got something else to show them. Let me just stop right here because y'all going to get real over, overdosed. I do lectures. I'm used to sitting in three-hour lectures. That's why I could be here so long, go through this shit. So, but this going to be the last part of this lecture. I told y'all money started coming out of this shit. So November 1st, 2023, you're going to see here the Illinois Fund, and that's the new mutual fund account. Y'all see it? Can I put it up there bigger? Y'all saw that it was supposed to be nine million in there. It went up because somebody put. Like, let's do, we gonna go through all all of them real quick. That's what I'm about to do, just to show y'all that some funny shit happening with these. I'm not about to play with Tiffany. I'm not about to play with her. They should be like if she my my kids be mad like man you catch everything. I'll be smelling. I'll be like what you doing? Well, every time you catch me, what the hell are you doing? Out here smoking that shit. I'm messing with my kids. All right, let me just get back to this. I want to get back to an older one. Okay, there we go. So the Illinois funding, that's another one. See, you see the balance of $7 million? Let's go back. This one, they start withdrawing. Remember you saw the plus? Let's give to where the fuck the plus at. Yo, somebody trifling. I think they were laundering money out of here too. I'm finding where I think is here in the pantry. Look at this shit. Oh my okay, I'm not gonna go that far. I'm singing y'all this shit. Can I sing to you? See, um, this general fund. Remember, I told you it's staying the same. They ain't touching that shit. They ain't got I don't know why they just leaving it. They just leaving that. Hold on, babes. Give me one second. I'm gonna find this. The this I'm gonna find. Okay, now this is where I'm gonna stop right here. Cause if I I'll probably fuck up your eyes, keep going back and forth. Now. Nah, I want to, I got to show y'all more because we had, so I just showed y'all 9 million. They had added, they took a thousand out and then end up putting four in and it ended up being nine. And then now you see we at seven. I got to go back up a little bit more so we, I can show y'all exactly because motherfuckers start taking out, excuse my account. They start taking out, excuse my language. Somebody start taking out the mutual. And this is like, if you're in a desperate situation as a regular person, me, the only time that I ever felt like I had to take out of my mutual funds or these type of savings account for 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 one k and things like that, I was in a I had to be in a bad situation. You know, um, COVID did that to a lot of us. Here we go. All right, let's just say right here, this is the Illinois funding because I'm gonna keep going running through this. Right here, you see the portfolio balance of seven million dollars. No purchases, no withdrawals. And, and this was the month of August 2023. Um, invest, uh, income and reinvestment, they put $32,000 in there. I don't see where the interest is at. Now, let's go back into, let's go into the next month. So everybody highlight $7 million is in that account. Mutual funds that you're not supposed to touch. Everybody agree with that? Right. Now, we're going to go down to the next month because I was moving backwards. But at first, I showed y'all the pictures. So I said, let me just get back to this document so y'all can see how it's flowing. Now it's September. You see $7 million still here? Here we go. Nobody touched it. Somehow it went from $9 million to $7 million. It was two withdrawals there. I'm going to take the pictures and put them up in my um, community thing because I'm going to be able to show y'all consecutively those $1 million coming out. Because it went up to 9 and then it jumped back down to 7 and then you're going to see it start to deplete month by month. 
So you know where the $7 million came from. It came from the BMO original one. Okay. And I just showed you what was happening with the BMO um, mutual fund account that they went back in there in October and start taking money out of there. The rest of the balance that was left from the original 9 million. They went in there afterwards. I don't know what the fuck she's buying, but it's somewhere. So here we go. This is the next withdrawal. This withdrawal happened October 2023, $500,000. Who's taking this out? Why did you need to take out somebody like they tried it? Somebody like, let me see if this worked. Look at this fucking thing. It's like a child. I can see it. Like, what if I'm so, like an investigator? I'm like, look, on 1017, it's like somebody tried it. They took a thousand dollars out. The share piece, they, they like, all right, let's see if this works. The next day, I mean, on 118, yeah, they took $500,000 out, okay? So they went from $1,500,000 and took that out. Then some income reinvestment went in $32,000. It looks like shares of people money goes into this. I hope that this is not the fireman stuff. I hope this is not the fun they talking about. Please don't let this be the fun they talking about because some funny shit is going on right here. E. Now let's get down to the next one. I'm, it's just popping in my head because you know they were talking about their pension and shit like that, and the money not going in. It's, you think that's the account? You think that's the account we looking at? Y'all, 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 y'all. I'm over here sound like Buster Rhymes. Because <laughs> this ain't right. Let's see. So you see, five hundred thousand came out, which lowered the budget and the um in account amount to six million five hundred. All right. Let's see how we doing with this mutual fund and this new, the Illinois funds. Man, I'm making y'all money. I'm make another one million dollars withdrawal. They did two, ACH withdrawal redeeming their shares. One on eleven one and one on eleven seventeen. Five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. Please, Thornton. Residents, ask them why they're taking money out of this and where did it go? Y'all see how I was able to find where the seven million went? I couldn't find where this went. I'm going to start looking into 2024 soon and I'll let y'all know, like, hey, I'm seeing some shit because I could cross reference like that. But as of right now, that silver seven million was transferred for, to a new mutual fund, li being liquidated slowly but surely. And the old mutual fund is being liquidated at the same damn time. Let's just get to December, the last month, and then we're going to be done with talking about finance today. I'm going to get to y'all comments, and we're going to get to the last part of our live, where we're going to read the cases that these three individuals are involved in. The three that we have on the glass, Keith Freeman, Keith Price, and Robert Hunt. Pull his ass up in there. He's going to be the next one to turn. Keith Price is going to. Keith Price remind me of a Suge Knight. He'll go to jail knowing some shit. But he going to hold some shit over their head. That's what I see at Keith Price. Keith Price will go to jail and hold some secrets. He'll ride that shit out because he just got that thug. I ain't got it. I can just tell. I know, I know who I know. I'm from the hood. That's what I think of Keith Price. I really don't think that he's going to turn on her. Unless it's just everybody in jail and nobody to judge him. <laughs> he 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 not going to do that. Where he from, snitches get stitches. He lived by that. I could tell. But my man, Robert Hunt, he from the suburbs. All I did was study. I got my accounting license. Not for this shit. The bitch drove me crazy every day. Talk to me like shit. Fuck that bitch. Okay. So this is what, <laughs> this is what I was showing y'all. The balance went down to five million because somebody was taking a million, a million, a million, a million. Four million went back in there. This is nine million right now. This is what I was talking about. I got a little mixed up. They put four million back in here. I don't know from where, but they end up purchasing more shares. Now, this is the thing. Just because four million went back into this account does not mean that that is the actual money that went out. Does that make sense? Somebody is playing Russian roulette with your money. This is when it gets to the credit cards. This is what I'm saying. 
even though that mutual fund account says nine million, you need to track where the four million dollars came to replace that. Because the way that they are replenishing the flex spending account, the ones that's hard to read, the in, out, in, out, the 53rd bank account has a lot of spending in it. The one that is hard to identify, which I do think it is the um, actually general funds because the old national account that's general funds is not moving. It got $2,600 in that motherfucker. And um, the other one, like I said, that is actually like the BMO um, the no, I'm sorry, the 5030 that's going in. That 5030 is the name of the um bank. No, your know, 53rd, I do apologize. It's 53rd bank. That's what it is. That's a 5030. 53rd bank. So they have a lot of spending going out in that account that is not named. So please, what I'm saying to you guys now in conclusion, there's about four things we can bring up here. One, please pay attention to the mutual funds. It looks like someone is pulling money out of there and doing some weird stuff. I don't care for a million women in there. The way that they move makes me very uncomfortable. That money could come from a grant. That money could come from a loan. And that does not mean that that's not untaxed or untraceable money. The next thing I need you guys to pull up in this meeting today, again, highlight that this big, thick, I was about to call them dick buckets, meanie, gargoyle. Yo, you the one that deserve all these names because that's the way you are. You could have had a pass by grace, but you, 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 ain't, you couldn't get saved by grace. Check that food pantry out. If Dalton gets that big food pantry and the doctor opens it, Harvey food pantry is not needed. That's why they're going after it. I can see that. Because Dalton will have a bigger food pantry and it will bring more people to that area and possibly services. Okay. They don't want that. What they want is her land. They want that ideal location that she has because if they build up downtown Dalton, the doctor who owned that location, she's going to be a fucking millionaire. I'm just going to let y'all know. Excuse my language. She's going to be a millionaire because once they build that up, her her building fair market value, that whole quote is at, is going to be worth so much money. So that's why they want it. So we got to look at the food pantry. We got to look at the um, um, the mutual funds account, Thornton. Also, a simple fix to the credit card, a policy. First, all spending has to be within the continuum. Y'all have to have a list of what the hell the continuum is. This is how much goes for supplies. This is how much is for this. Da, da, da. Anything that's added to this guidelines or booklet has to be approved by the board. After having these guidelines for the particular cards and having the card members that are approved to use it based on those guidelines. Oh, I hold meters. I can get I can buy supplies. Oh, I, I do this. Oh, I can buy food or I do this. Oh, I can do this. That's how that's supposed to be. Then you have one person. One. Because if it go wrong, you're going to get that motherfucker. One person or, or the part-time person, two, that's in charge of allocating the card out. The card is not to leave the fucking premises. It should only be two cards, one in a backup, one in a backup. And that one card, everybody can use. Not at the same time. And they sign it out if they got to leave the premises. And they sign it back in. You sign it with a description of what the you buy what it's for, and we move on. Does that make sense, Dalton? My OCDS, my, I'm trying to tell you, I be thinking I'm rough around the edges, all types of stuff, but I'm militant when it comes to, nah, I am a preventer. We're not about to do this. We are not about to do this. So that's a simple fix. Fourthly, even that's not a word. Fourthly. Get the car out of Keith Price's hands. Please. Y'all, Dalton is already in a terrible position. Y'all got the heads up. The red light came like, where, where, where? Bitches, we about to be in trouble. Look at this shit. Same bitch, same girl. Oh, little tip tip. What we about to do? So since you know this is happening, put these El Stapos in place. Y'all need to figure out how to get Keith Price out of there. He are the devil. He are the devil. He are the devil. 
So that's my for uh, my forecast on Keith Price. He's already out of there and squilling. This man is next. My baby case right here. He ain't going to jail for her ass. Please, all the accountants tell. All of them. Okay. So, um, Robert Hunt. Let me see him. Robert Hunt. You saw him. You saw the picture of Robert Hunt? That was Robert Hunt. That's the finance guy she was bullying. You saw him, Javar? I'll put him back on the glass for you. Him. Oh, Applehead. I always got a name for somebody. Oh, Bo. He got a real bobblehead. <laughs> for real. Um, hey, Miss Valerie. Um, you know what? I made my choice. Robert Hunt is thief number three with his uh, uh, boneless ass. Please let it be Robert Hunt as the next victim. Thank you. He has been her henchman. And I think it's just, I can't make an excuse for him. He was bullied into this shit. I'm going to just say, nigga, that's all you got to say? No. Fuck that. Excuse my language. Grace be like, no. No. You all comfortable? I got to go. I ain't part of your clique. Bye. I say no. Please, you think I'm going to jail or hell for you? I told y'all, but only for myself. If I do a crime, I'm going to be by myself. They never going to get me. Who is that? Southern Crescent? Oh, okay, cool. All right, cool. So I think it, it's 6 o'clock here. Um, the meeting doesn't start yet till another hour, y'all, right? So we got one more hour to get down because I don't want to distract y'all from the meeting. So that's my synopsis on those three. I'm going to break this up for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do my little synopsis on those three. Then I'm going to break up the finance part that I just did. And then we're going to break up these two parts. Okay? So it won't be that long and crazy. But it's just because I got to disappear on you guys. Okay? I'm not really. I just got to. I'm, I'm going to start a new contract. And I don't know how I'm going to set up my equipment. Y'all got to bear with me. Let's see my face. Me and my Haitian family. Oh my God. They're gonna drive me crazy. Oh she run. She every two minutes. Do, 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 do. They'll be like, damn, y'all thought that I was pessimistic. I was listening to my grandma. I was like, damn, this is where I get it from. You drive me crazy. You find a problem with everything. What's your problem, girl? What's your problem? And I, I understand why I always look like for something bad to happen. Or it's it's a good defense thing. And I know I work on that because I'll be like. But I give people chances, but I see it fast. That's how my grandma is. I'm like, yo, they're going to drive me crazy. You going to have to block that shit out, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm stressing already before I get there. Like, oh, you know, you, we all grown. We got our own places. I'm going to be in these people's places. It's just drive me crazy. All right, so this is what we're going to do. This one right here, since we want to have the first reincorporate all three of these individuals, this is Sandra Tracy. Um, she's actually suing Thornton Township. So shout out to Thornton. You're on the list. The DJ list. Let me stop. You on the court list, baby. I'm making fun, but it's not. You don't want to be on this list. You don't not want to have all these lawsuits related to the damn lady. But this is what the lawsuit um, is going to highlight. I'm going to um, put it. Let me make sure I downloaded it. Excuse me. I'll hit the like button. I love you guys. Thank you for having patience. Thank you for getting to know me. Thank you for not judging me. Thank you for letting me be free. Free to be me. Tell my you a nurse. How do you act like that? Why do you talk like that? Shut the hell up. When I'm at work, I don't talk like that. I do crack hella joke stuff. I'm a night nurse, so I could talk more shit. Crack jokes and be a little bit politically incorrect. I'll be dancing down the hallway like they start laughing and shit. I'll be having to do stuff. I ain't gonna be no. Every election. So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. I was, was a trustee. trustee. I sat where they are. Right. That's uh, why uh, I know uh, the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Terms four years? Yes. Okay. Uh, plans to run for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And yeah. I'm going to win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Town? 2025. So those elections are the same time? They are. Bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. Okay, next. A bullshit. 
a bullshit? The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.